I'm working on a game with fancy active ragdolls and a fully destructible environment. And guess what? You can play it for free today. Let me explain how. Before I share some very fancy stuff with you, let's first talk about what is Lost in the Sand. Well, let me explain. Lost in the Sand is a slow-paced shooter with strategy elements set in a fully destructible environment. Well, kinda. You can't destroy mountains and, you know, sky, because that would... You just can't. Last in the Sand has procedurally generated worlds with procedurally generated towns which are surrounded by one or more oil patches where you can build procedurally generated camps. Have I also mentioned that all that stuff is procedurally generated? So your goal is to capture all the towns on the map. In order to do that, you must own at least one oil patch in each town and make sure that enemy doesn't own any of them. Oil patches are used for extracting, can you guess what? <laughs> That's right, for extracting oil. You simply need to place an oil pump on one of these boys and you'll get an option to build a camp, which will help you to protect the oil, um, borrowing operation. Wait, did someone say oil? So, in order to protect your totally legal oil borrowing operation, you'll need two things, power of God and anime on your side. Don't fuck with me! I have the power of God and anime on my side! Wait, you... Ah! Oh wait, that was the other script. You need weapons and people, but let's first talk about weapons. Because it's still early to add traders to the game, and totally not because I'm lazy, I needed another way for the player to obtain weapons. I decided to add two different workbenches, one for weapons and another for ammo. The player can simply interact with them and craft items instantly, which I'm planning to later replace with a crafting minigame. Time to talk about the second thing. People. Squads are a really big part of the game. You can give them orders to attack enemy camps to defend your licensed and legal oil borrowing operation, or you can kill them to get their weapons. Squads will use different tactics depending on their morale and the state of the battle. They'll also retreat in order to save their lives. They have a very advanced artificial intelligence algorithm. Very advanced artificial intelligence algorithm. They also know absolutely nothing about resource conservation. Before letting everyone play the game for free, I first needed to do some testing. That's when our lovely Discord members had my back. Huge thanks to all these people for absolutely abusing my game in all ways possible and helping me find those bugs that were playing hide and seek with me all this time. Thank you so much. And it's finally time for you to play Lost in the Sand demo for free. Just keep in mind, the game is still very early in development, so you should expect some fancy stuff to happen. For example, this NPC is trying to climb an invisible ladder. In case of fancy stuff happening, I would really appreciate if you let me know on my Discord server. The demo is available for free on the Steam page, which is linked in the description. Now excuse me as I go to borrow some oil. Bye.